It's here are stages of cancer. Basically, stage is just a, a way of classifying how far the cancer has spread. And every disease type has their own way of staging things. So the staging for breast cancer is not going to be the same as staging for ovarian cancer, obviously, because it's completely dis different diseases. But, um, but that's generally what we're trying to do is trying to get a, a, an idea of how advanced the cancer is. And once we know how advanced the cancer is, we can generally give people an idea of what the prognosis is. That's ultimately what's important. You're not so much worried about stage, you're more worried about are you going to be able to cure this? So, and, and stage kind of gives us an idea of, of what the cure rate would be. For gynecologic cancer, after surgery and what's what we call adjuvant therapy, and adjuvant therapy will just be either chemotherapy or radiation after surgery, patients undergo what we call surveillance. And surveillance is just a fancy term for keeping a close eye on things. Typically, we have the patients come back in to the office anywhere from every three to every six months for, a, for an exam and blood work. We want to keep an eye on things to make sure that the disease doesn't come back. Chemotherapy is just a fancy term for medical therapy. Traditional chemotherapy is an IV infusion. So just like if you were to go to a hospital, you get an IV placed. And these are medications designed to help kill cancer cells. And for the most part, the way I describe it, is it's very expensive, very well thought out poison. And it's poison that's designed to help kill cancer cells before it causes too much damage to normal cells. Length of treatment depends on, on the type of cancer the person has and, and the treatment option that they decided for. But usually it's about a 18 week treatment course. There's a number of trials that are ongoing through our research division that's based out of Mary Crowley here in Dallas. We have a number of clinical trials open for not just gynecologic tumors, but also breast cancers and multiple other disease sites. We have targeted therapies. We also have tumor-specific options, uh, such as vaccines. So a lot of these tumor vaccines are created at the time of surgery, where samples of a person's tumor is sent to a lab, and this lab creates a vaccine targeted specifically against that person's tumor. Um, that's something that's under clinical trials here in Dallas that I'm very actively participating in.